Yo, 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 it's your boy, I'm back, it's been a minute, but I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, what's good, uh, y'all know what to do, hit the like, subscribe, blah, 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 theultimaterage.com and all of that, Joey P, Star EP, The Ultimate Rage, Outrageous EP, Just You Runs, Infinity EP, you know the whole spiel, please help a brother out, you know what I'm saying, anyway, Let's just get right to it. I mean, there's so much I could talk about. Well, first of all, just celebrated my 35th birthday, so show me some love. You feel what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, so it's been a, a busy week, so that's why I haven't been dropping. But uh, man, there's so much to talk about. But today, we're going to talk about something I just saw right before I put this on. This is the reason why we're here today, okay? Straight like that. So, it looks like they're, they're throwing it in our faces now. Yeah. Yeah. The, the churches are really trying to flex their power. I guess you could say this is, you know, one of their last big amps before it all comes tumbling down. Because moves like this cannot stand. Oh, what was the move we're talking about? Okay, straight up. So, from the New York Post, it says right here. Hundreds of churches across Virginia began airing a political ad featuring Vice President Kamala Harris urging viewers to vote for Terry McAuliffe for governor over the weekend, raising questions about the legality of the advertisement being aired in houses of worship. There's so motherfucking much wrong with that okay now let me first off say for the record i am neither a democrat nor a republican because i see through the nonsense of this ridiculous two-party system okay so here's here's what i'm getting to both parties are guilty of this kind of garbage. They do it all the time. Even back, way, way back when I was a Christian, I remember Barack Obama coming to our church to urge something. This was before he became president. This was when he was still a senator. I didn't realize he was going to become what he became, but this is what it was. This was back when I was... At the House of Hope, you know, and he came and gave his speech about stuff, you know, politician, this same kind of stuff. They've been doing it for a long time. And like I said, both sides, Democrats and Republicans, see people, especially Democrats, Democratic voters, liberals, you know, just the populace, they hate the both sides argument because they like to be on the well republicans are so much worse though and it's like yeah i agree with that like i there's pretty much nothing on the right wing that i agree with there are certain principles i might agree with things like hard work you know stuff like that but like Everything else is garbage to me. And Democrats, okay, yeah, they're better in some ways. Yes, in some ways, they're better. They're better on social issues. I will 100,000% agree with that. They are better for sure. But they're not great. Let's not sit here and act like Democrats are the most awesome when it comes to social issues, okay? 
You can come to Chicago if you want to see an example of what I'm talking about. Just come on down to Chicago. Come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? Bring your nice little whip. Maybe a Jeep or something like that. Drive around South Side. And go see what happens. Just drive around and just see what happens. I'm just saying. The social issues ain't necessarily the Democrats' forte either. They're just better than the Republicans. They're... They're not going to come out and say, oh, I hate the gays and I hate the trans and I hate the women and I hate the this and I hate the that. They're not going to say that. They're not going to put. And if they do come out and say that, they will apologize. That That's for sure. They will do that. For sure. They'll definitely do that. That does not mean that they're great. This is why we have to start thinking differently about everything. Our current political system is nonsense. And I will say, for the record, for anybody who was interested, I personally align with the Green Party. I align with the Green Party because they have the best platform, in my personal opinion. The things that will help further our society is what pretty much their platform is all about. Instead of half-assed measures like, oh, you know, let's make health care more affordable. See, I just watched the ad that they're talking about in this article. You can go to the New York Post article. I'll link it in the description in case you want to watch it for yourself. Or you can just go to YouTube like a normal person, you feel me, and actually watch it yourself. But, you know, they give us the same old tired garbage. Let's make health care more affordable. Let's improve our schools. But what do we see happening? Democrats have been in office all of this time here in Chicago. Look at the, the conditions of our schools. Look at the conditions of our schools. No, I'm not talking about DePaul. DePaul is doing fine, okay? They got their... Hundred million plus dollar athletic center and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about schools like that. I'm talking about like schools like Scott Joplin right by my my house or any of these other elementary schools around here. You feel me? Like things can be so much improved. And Democrats have been in office this entire time. Name me one Republican mayor in the last 80 years. And I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. If Democrats were so awesome, why do we see the things that we see? If Republicans were so awesome, why do we see the things that we see? Why is the state of our nation so bad? Why is climate change worsening by the day? Why are we seeing all these crazy storms, all these wildfires, all of these, you know, earthquakes and tornadoes and hurricanes and all of this stuff? If Democrats or Republicans were so awesome, why perpetuate the rat race? Why? Why do that? So, essentially, now let's go back to the to the topic. Because I know, you know, I can be scatterbrained at times. It's difficult for me to, you know, just stay with one single line of thought. Because there's so many different, you know, tentacles and branches. It's a web of bullshit. So let's go back to the churches, alright? The churches, bruh. The churches... Love, love money. They love money. Like I've said, they are the original MLM. That is the reason why they allow these politicians to come in so that they can spread their political message. It's the same reason why these politicians like to utilize these churches for their 
own political benefit. Because it's mutually beneficial for them. You feel what I'm saying? I'm sure these churches get all kinds of kickbacks from the government. But the the most important part of this video that we're that I need you to understand is that churches are supposed to be a 501c3, meaning they are not supposed to be meddling in politics at all. At all. They shouldn't be talking about it. They shouldn't be allowing pastors to give their opinion about anything, anything political at all. They shouldn't be pushing for specific policies, specific candidates. They shouldn't say, yes, vote on... No, that none of that should be happening. They should be talking about what's in that stupid book that they like to, re to, to read all the time. That same dumbass, old-ass, goofy-ass, nonsensical-ass book that they like to read. That should be the only thing they're talking about. It's literally a violation of the tax code. You know, that thing that was made by the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service? Yeah. Yeah. These are clear and blatant, blatant violations of the law. And this is exactly why churches either need to no longer be allowed the benefits of a 501c3, aka tax their asses, or they should shut the hell up and go back to preaching about Jesus, okay? I already have a problem with that because it's nonsensical, but see, people... This is another reason why I I talk about this. This isn't about me being like, oh, I hate people, I hate Christians, I hate theists, I hate that. No, I was a theist. Why would I hate people who were once like me? Or who were like I once was, I should say. People who are like how I once was way back as a wee lad. Why would I hate? Any of you, theists, I don't do this out of hate. I do this out of love for you because I hate to see how you, this, how you, religious people, how you believers get manipulated like this. See, the, the, the long and short of it is this. Religious people, you're afraid to die. And I understand. I'm afraid to die too. I don't want to die. That's the reason why I support the Sins Foundation. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm pushing for anti-aging and, you know, all that type of stuff. Life extension. Everything. I'm with all of that. All of that. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't want to die. At all. I fear death. There's too much out there for me to learn, for me to be okay with death. I I have an insatiable thirst for knowledge. I want to know so much about what the fuck all of this shit is. And I want to be alive to understand. I don't want to die to have to learn and understand it. And that's the point. We shouldn't have to die to finally understand. We should be able to understand it in real life. Why wait to die? To reap the benefits of hard work. When we can enjoy those fruits. Here. In real life. While we're still alive. You feel what I'm saying? Like. Just because you're afraid to die. Does not mean. You should therefore believe this fairy tale. If you're afraid to die. That's why you should be hopping on board. To help us. So we can help. Figure out all this nonsense that's happening. It is clearly not doing us any good to believe this nonsense. Because you, you, you this, you religious people, you believers. You are the ones that are getting manipulated, getting used and abused. You are the, the people who are going to suffer 
just like all the rest of us. And you can say all of this, oh, well, Jesus is going to protect us and all of this nonsense, but you don't live that way. See, the people who really live that way, you know, like the pastor who, you know, the, the snake handler pastor that died, he is a real believer. He really believed Jesus would save him. He really believed that stupid shit. Too bad Jesus did not. Things like that should be signs to you that it don't work. It don't work. It don't work. It don't work. Jesus ain't there. He ain't there. He's not there. But you know who are? You know who is there? You know who is here right now? Scientists, doctors, physicians, you know, researchers, experimenters. You feel me? Lab technicians. They are here right now doing the work to try to figure all this stuff out. Wouldn't it be nice if we had more people working to figure all of this stuff out? It would be so much better instead of you, you, this, sitting inside of a church, reciting the same nonsense all day, every day. If instead you actually sat in a classroom, studied something like physics or biology. And you could be a part of helping to further along our society by discovering something that could actually help. Literally, really help. Because look, I get it. Your heart is in the right place. You have the intention. I got it. I understand it. That's why I don't come at you with hate. The haters, fuck them. All right, we ain't even talking about them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even got to name their name no more. I, I ain't even worried about them. But I'm not looking at you as a hater. I'm looking at you as someone who was once lost, just like me. You were just like me. You thought you found something special. You thought that you found something that was going to provide meaning to your life. That gave you a purpose. That made you feel special. That gave you something to live for and work for. But the truth is, it's not real. It's not there. It's not it's not true. It's not there. Jesus ain't there. He ain't. That's the reason why I say things like, does he have an IG? Do you have an address, a phone number? Because if Jesus is real, if he is a real person that is alive, then there should be a way to contact him directly. The same way I'm contacting you right now, talking to you with my words and my mouth and my voice, he should be able to talk to me and you. In fact, we should be able to have a conference on IG or something. Or if I get to 1K subscribers, we could do a live stream and Jesus could come and address us all on the stream. He could come here and address you on my stream. But that's not how it works. And that's the problem. It don't work, man. The signs are there. Think about the fact that you lit. I wanted to take a picture earlier. When I was out. Because uh, there was a church that literally said. Masks save lives. The irony of that statement is insane. And before any of you fools start getting on your anti-vax nonsense, yeah, yeah, I'm saying it like that. You goofy anti-vax goofies. Yes, I mean it like that. And I don't mean that with hatred. I mean that as ridicule because your position is foolish. It's foolish nonsense. I'm sorry. You don't like to hear that. But it is. You're not a physician, so you don't get to say anything about anything concerning biology or physics or nothing. You're not in, you're not a physicist. You're not a physician. You have no idea or, of anything other than what regular people like me and you have available to us. The information available at the CDC. Oh, yeah, you don't like the CDC. 
except for when you want to push this 95% of your fucking immune system stupid shit that y'all say. St fuck that stupid shit. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, is the point I was trying to say. But the irony of the, the Mass Save Lives thing is the fact that if Jesus was real, for real, if Jesus was literally real, you would not need a mask. In fact, none of us would need masks. Because all you would have to do is say, hey, Jesus, please help help us all out. And Jesus could be like, all right. Because, you know, he could turn water into rain, right? He could turn water into wine so that he could turn COVID into superpowers. That's what he should be able to do if he was real. If Jesus was real, he would come down and turn COVID into superpowers. Instead, people dying. Colin Powell just died today. And he was vaccinated. Oh, yeah. The anti here come the anti vaccines. Oh, well, he was vaccinated. So why is he still dying? No, 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 no. Y'all goofy. Anyway, Jesus ain't real. Jesus ain't real. Church ain't real. It's a waste of time. It is a waste of our human resources. Literally, it's a waste of your time. You're not doing anything. Sitting and praying does nothing. It literally does nothing. Like I said, your heart is in the right place, but it does nothing. It does nothing. That's why churches should be taxed because they're wasting everybody's time and they're making billions of dollars, boatloads of cash, selling you nothing. They're literally selling you nothing. Uh, well, let me be fair. They are selling you. They're selling you a show. It is a show. It is a show you choose to attend. You know, there's the song and dance. That's the, you know, the performance. And then they have the, you know, sometimes they might have some special dancers. They might have a, you know, a skit, a play. You know, they might have somebody special come by and do something. You no know, poetry day or something. And then the pastor give his sermon. So you get a perform. You get a show. And a lot of the people performing are really talented. Let's not get it twisted. Churches be having, especially black churches, be having some of the best vocalists in the world. I don't care what anybody has to say. Black churches got the best singers in the world. In all the world. Straight like that. A lot of these people could be signed right now, but they choose to waste their life for something that doesn't even exist. And that's why, that's why religion's a problem. That's why when people say, you know, things like, oh, it's not my business. Well, it's all of our business because climate change affects all of us, yo. And so, um, I'm sorry, Theus. You will never, ever produce a shred of any evidence for the existence of your God. It will never happen. And I stand on that. You know, and I'm willing to bet my life. I'm willing to bet a million, billion, bajillion dollars. I'm willing to bet the entire world's economy. I'm willing, I'm willing to bet my health, my wealth, my sanity, my sense, every aspect of me on this. Because... Your, your foundation is nothing. It doesn't even exist. It's a, your, your religion is a, is pretty much a baseless assertion at, at the core of it. It's just plain a baseless assertion. That's why you need faith to believe it. And faith is the excuse you give. When you don't have a good reason to believe something. Because if you had a good reason, you would just give the good reason. And then it wouldn't be faith. And then it wouldn't be church. Because it would be science. It would actually be science. And that's the point. I'm recording this on my cell phone. A product of science. It took a lot of physics. Chemistry. 
to put this stuff together. Material science. You don't make cell phones without science. You don't pray cell phones into existence. I don't just say, please, Lord, make a Tesla appear in my driveway. And it's just going to appear in my driveway. No, I would have to work hard to earn the money so that I can buy a Tesla or be gifted a Tesla by somebody who's willing to buy me a Tesla. Or get one from Elon Musk himself. But magic is not real. But you know what is real? The, the next best thing? Science. It's like magic, except it requires a lot of hard work. That's the reason why a lot of y'all fail school so hard. Because for a lot of y'all, science is hard. And I understand it. Math is hard. The STEM field is hard for a lot of y'all. And I get it. But y'all gonna have to suck it up. Y'all, if we if we gonna succeed, if we gonna survive as a, as a civilization, y'all gonna have to suck it up because we ain't got much time left, yo. We ain't got much time left. So, to wrap things up, tax the damn churches or get them the fuck out of here, all right? Because they're useless. They c contribute nothing to society that secular organizations don't already provide without the nonsense. So there's that. Democrats and Republicans, both sides of bullshit. Let's go with the Green Party. Let's go with the Green Party. Yeah. Oh, you did it. I'm going to say that for another. We can have that discussion another time. Green Party. The time has come. All right. Time has come. Democrats have had plenty of time. Republicans have had plenty of time to get their shit together, and they can't. They refuse. They refuse. We're always arguing over the debt ceiling. We're always arguing over fucking raising the fucking... All, all these same issues that's been going over all this time. It, it's, it, it constantly happens. Constantly filibustering and constantly dealing with, oh, are we going to fucking shut down the government? The government shut... It's, why are we even having these discussions? We should be past this shit. So fuck the Democrats. Fuck the Republicans. Let's go with the Green Party and try something different for a change. Because a hundred years, they had a chance. We've made progress. They ain't. It, 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 the progress is over. With, with, it's not happening with them. We have sputtered to a halt. It's time to move with the Green Party. And we can have that discussion in the future video. Maybe even the next video. But until then... Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that www.theultimaterage.com. www.theultimaterage.com. All right? Support your boy. I'm going to be coming with some new music soon. I'm going to be coming with some new shit soon. We're going to be doing some big things. I've just been busy. So let's keep it going, all right? Follow your boy, all social media platforms, at The Ultimate Rage. You know what I'm saying? Cash app, dollar sign, The Ultimate Rage. Support your boy. My birthday was just this past Friday. So hook your boy up. Hook your boy up, y'all. Peace out. Much love. Love y'all. Deuces. 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 Deuces.